Hi, I'm Mike Kiltenstein, President at Rap Sports, and I want to talk to you today about the wrap recipe. And specifically what I want to talk about are the different types of composite materials we're using inside our new skis. Um, you know, in most factories that you go to, they have the capability of using a certain type of a construction. And oftentimes there's a lot of uh, limitations as to what materials they can and can't use because of the traditional press molding process. In the vacuum process, we can try any material that we want. There's no constraints to it at all. And so we started working with a company uh, local to here called Composite One, and they kept bringing us virtually an infinite number of different um, materials to test in our prototype skis. And it was really interesting because we found that after a lot of testing, the best combination of materials was a layer of triaxial 45 degree fiberglass that's used in the very top of the ski and the very bottom layer of the ski because that gives uh, tremendous torsional support and um, inside of that there's a layer of 90 degree biweave fiberglass to provide longitudinal strength and we're using very high quality versions of those types of fiberglass that are made right here in the US but one of the biggest things we found when we tested is that we found uh, a material that Composite One brought to us that's a full layer of Kevlar and in all my years in the ski industry, I've never seen this done before. And if you think about what Kevlar is really good at, um, several things. First of all, it's one of the lightest, strongest fibers that's known. Um, it's used in things like bulletproof vests because it's so resistant to deformation and stretching that even a bullet can't break through it. So we found that if we use it in the bottom of the ski, we get some tremendous advantages. Like if you look at what happens when you flex a ski, the bottom of the ski is being stretched on the outside of the curve and the layers on the top of the ski are being compressed. And when we use Kevlar on the bottom of the ski, it doesn't like to be stretched. It's very resistant, so you get a lot more rebound and energy at the end of your turn as a result of that. But the other thing about Kevlar, it's about eight times better at absorbing vibration than fiberglass. So by putting Kevlar in the ski the way we're using it, you get a smooth, buttery ride. And um, the combination of these uh, much more expensive composite materials that we're using in our skis is giving us some amazing um, energy rebound and a nice, as I said, a really smooth ride.